Hey, hey, Glam Beauties. Welcome back to my channel, Madam CJ, Madam Glam. I'm here to bring you a review on a brand that no one talks about. And I don't understand why, because this is a powerful fragrance house that I'm dealing with, and that is the House of Wales. Now, don't quote me on the year that they were introduced. I think it was the 1940s or the 1960s. But the latest fragrance that they put out, I think, was in 2014 or 2016. And I believe that was my favorite, which is Sookie. Now, I can't understand why people don't have any reviews on this here. Is it because they are not as expensive as Gucci or, you know, Lancome, so on and so forth? I paid $12.99 for it, and it was definitely well worth it. And now, if they were charging more, I think I would buy it because I definitely love the fragrances that they have produced. So, let me stop all of my rambling. I just couldn't understand why people are not reviewing these here fragrances. Now, uh, I don't have my ring lights on, so this is going to be all up in your face. So this is Emotion Essence. And Emotion Essence is a floral fragrance. Fru fruity floral fragrance. Her top note is apricot, peony, and lilac. The heart of her is rose and jasmine. The base of her is musk and protruding. And she is the one... The reason why I decided to make this a video because you know I revisited her the other night and I just love how she smelled on me I woke up smelling her so this is a good fragrance so let me get started with the next one which is greedy now greedy is my oriental scent here now the notes in greedy is uh, a I mean apples jasmine and mandarin orange her heart is rose, peach, lily of the valley, and sandalwood, and her base is tonka bean, and she is divine. This fragrance is nice. I love them all. The one that I, I could say that I like the least, and that's because it's a light floor, but it's still powerful, is emotion. Now, we go going to my number one. Now, this one here. <sighs> this one is out of this world. This is a fragrance that will blow your mind. It is a mysterious, spicy, warm, but yet also cozy fragrance. I love this fragrance. Now, let me read you her notes. Uh, let me see her top notes. Is bergamot, plum, and dates. Her heart is candied rose and cinnamon incense. Uh, her base is amber, oud, citrus, sisters. Cist I'm let me uh <laughs> let me spell that because I know it may sound different once y'all hear it. So it's C I S T U S, sisters. Okay, vertiver and vanilla. Now, I, I, I love this. Here. And I'm thinking the reason why I love it is because of that ooh. But man, do this here smell good. It smells really, really good. And when I say good, I mean good. It smells good. Now, going on to my next one, which this one here is a uh, very, very fruity. Uh, and it is Sweet Bamboo. I love this one here. I think out of the collection, it was one more in this here line here, in this flanker. I didn't get that one because I didn't. I can't remember how that smelled, but I know I didn't like it. So I ended up taking that one back. But this, uh, this bamboo is a fun, floral, fruity fragrance, and it is. I added this with uh, Essence uh, the other night, and like I said, it's just, huh, it smells really good. So let me get on with the notes. The top note is Violet, Mandarin, and Pettigrain. The heart is Sage. What is this? Rose tea and jasmine. The base is vertebra, protruly, and sandalwood. And this is a fun-loving fragrance. 
Now this fragrance here, it kind of remind me of Juicy Couture's line, but with Juicy, you know, that's more really playful kind of teenage girl. This one here is playful, but mature woman type of fruit. I love this. It has an exotic smell to it. Very, very nice. Now going to my next one is Bamboo Glacé. Now with this one here, I actually put her in the freezer uh, to let it chill and that's the, the chill smell is different from the warm smell. It's very, very nice. Very nice. Now, the notes um, that we have in her are green apple and pepper. The heart is peony, violet, and rose. The base is white musk and amber. And when I say this is a refreshing uh, and cool type scent, it is just really, really nice. Those, those rough days that you have, then you come home and you just want to take them cows on baths. Hey, you take that cow gun bath and then you spray this here on you and you will sleep like a baby. I guarantee you that. So, like I said, I cannot understand how people are not giving this here house its due credit. This is a nice brand and any, if they bring out anything else, trust me, and I hope it goes to uh, TJ Maxx and Marshall, but I'm going to jump on those fragrances because they are very nice. And I am so pleased and happy to have them in my collection. So that is going to end my review on the House of Well. So don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share. And you know the routine, uh, Glam Beauties. Smooch ass. Bye-bye. See you on the flip side.